Okay, we're gonna try and fold this conch shell. You have the directions, so the people in the video, oh, geez, please. Pardon the interruption. At this time, those students eating third lunch should please report to the cafeteria. And a final last reminder for any senior in the building who has not yet done their name verification for diploma and their cap and gown measurements, this is the last opportunity to do so in the cafeteria at this time. Thank you. Okay, so these are the directions. We've already picked out our origami paper. So you should have color on one side and white on the other. So as you're looking through the directions, anything that's shaded means that you should be looking at the side with color on it. Obviously, if it's white, it should be the white side. All right, so you can follow through these steps, but it might be easier if uh, we just kind of do it together. So we're going to start with the side with color on it facing you. Okay, and again, if you can't get your conch shell, it's fine. This is sort of just for fun. Um, I don't care about this. I care about the numbers that you come up with later, which you don't even need this for. But anyway, so the very first step is to pinch. So what you're going to do, actually watch me do it here. You're going to fold your paper, but you're just going to pinch right here. So don't f crease it all the way down. You just pinch it right at the top. So in the video, that's all I did. I folded it and I just pinched just that spot. Just enough, you're not gonna fold it all the way down. You just want to have a mark on your paper there at the halfway point, okay? So once you have that little ridge there, put it back flat on your, on your surface. And now you're going to take your bottom right corner and you're gonna bring it up to meet that point. So like this, take that bottom right corner and bring it up so that it just touches right there. And once you have it, then you're gonna press and make a crease here. Okay, so everybody do that. If you haven't already. Okay, so now, if you look on the directions, there's a little loop-de-loop -loop arrow, which basically just means flip it over. So now you should have the white side and a little tiny triangle of color over on the side here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, this is a little confusing in the diagram, but I want to take this top right corner, and I'm going to bring it down to match right there, right where that corner of that triangle uh, meets the paper and I want to do it horizontally so if you want to watch me do it first so I'm gonna bring this down so that corner matches and I also want this side flush so I want to line it up just like that see how it's all nice and straight and then I go ahead and I crease that so do that step bring that corner right there make sure your sides line nice and lined up and then crease And then this part, I could not understand on the diagram. It took me a while, and then I finally figured it out. What they want you to do from here, is that right here? You want to just fold this back part like that. So take that back. So again, it was like this. Just take that back and fold it flat. So now you just have this rectangle that's color on top and white on the bottom. So you were here, and then you just go whoop. Everybody's got it? And now we're going to flip it over again. The whole thing, flip it over. So you should now have a rectangle with a diagonal kind of through it like that. And then what do we do? Now we're going to fold this in half. So take your bottom half, bring it up to the top. And you, again, you want to try and be as precise as you can. So at this point, we should have an all-white rectangle, and you should have a little crease. I know it's hard to see on the video, but right here, there should be a crease on your paper. All right. Uh, so now I'm up to number nine. Number nine, I really just want to open the whole thing up. So open it up and have the white side up facing you. 
And then we're going to fold it on the diagonal. So you want to take this uh, top left corner and you're going to bring it all the way down. So we're just going to fold the whole thing in one big diagonal. Try and do this as accurately as you can. What shape do you have right now? What kind of right triangle? <gasps> it's a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Well, how about that? Mm. Okay, next step. Uh, where are we? I'm on 10. So right now, if you look at your, your right triangle, you should have, you should see a, a vertic two vertical creases and then one kind of diagonal crease right there, okay? And then what we need to do here is we are going to fold it along, so you have two vertical creases. We're gonna fold it along this vertical crease, so the longer of the two vertical creases. So this can be a little bit tough to do because only the top layer is actually creased. So you wanna fold it and try and keep this bottom, that's how you're gonna know that it's all lined up. You want to keep that bottom kind of flat as best you can. Okay, so you're folding it over. We had our triangle, and we're folding along that one crease, trying to keep the bottom nice and even. Okay, so we're here. This is step, we're on 11 now. And now we're going to do the same series of steps over and over again. It's basically taking the bottom corner and bringing it up to this sort of center point here. So take that bottom corner so that it meets right at that point there. And then you flatten that out. You see your shell starting to take shape? And then we do it again. We're going to take this corner and bring it right back up to match that point. Try and do it again as accurately as you can. It gets a little bit tougher as we have more and more layers of fold, but just do your best. So now we're here. This is step 13 we're on. And I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to take that corner, bring it up. Okay, hold on. Are people here? Or no? Okay, so let me go back one. Are people here? Yeah. So take this bottom. See this corner right there that my finger's on? You want that corner to come up and meet this corner. So it's really a horizontal fold. You bring it straight up like that. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take this corner right here. It's hard to see. because This one. And I want to bring it up to match this one. So this side ends up come, being along that vertical line like this. See that? So I'm here, and now I'm going to do that. You're here, you're going to do that. And then when you're ready, crease it. And then I do it again. So now you have a corner over here that my pink finger's on. I want that corner to match that corner. So this is more of like a vertical fold. And you make that corner right in there, crease it, and then I do it again, I'm going to take that little tiny corner, it gets a little hard towards the end because you, there's not a lot of paper to work with, but it's getting so cute. And then you do it one last time. So this little, this is a little bit tricky. 
So try and get that last corner as best you can. So be a horizontal fold straight down. Line it up best you can. When you are done, you should have this teeny tiny little tail that's horizontal. So it shouldn't be sticking up like that. That's, you got one more fold to do. There should be that last fold, the bottom should be horizontal. And then to make it all stay together, it's like a little tail. You take that little tail and you just tuck it inside the shell. Oh, 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 there we go. And then it'll stay. Isn't that adorable? Now, if your shell doesn't look so great, that's okay. You can still get all the measurements that you need. So, um, if you look on the other side of this paper, I have pretty much an exact replica of our shell right here. How about that? Isn't that neat? There it is. Now, I want you to take a look. Look at each one of these triangles on here. What kind of triangle are each one of these? Well, what do you know? It's a whole bunch of 45, 45, 90s. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the value of all of these lengths, A, B, C, D, all the way through to I. Okay? So, yeah, it's cute to have this. You don't need it, though. Um, but what you do need is the original size of the square. Okay? So this square is actually 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So up at the very top, the very first sentence says, your sheet of origami paper is about blank long. You need to fill in 15 centimeters right in there. And it's actually not about, it's exactly. So I'll help you get started a tiny bit. Um, so. Our original square was 15 by 15. Now, it says in number one here, in step number nine, you divided your piece of origami paper into thirds. So how long would each section be then? Five, right? Of course, if it's 15 by 15, that means each of these are fives. And across the top was 15. All right, so far so good. Now. Number two says in step 10, you folded your paper into an isosceles right triangle. How long is the hypotenuse? So if you remember back in uh, line 10, it was literally the whole sheet and then we folded it along the diagonal. Right, so we had done that. Well, if this whole original square is 15 by 15, what's the hypotenuse? 15 root 2, right? Because it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So that hypotenuse must be 15 root 2. Okay, now, so here's the entire square. This is 15 root 2. This is 15, this is 15. Now, what we eventually did, and this is a scaled down version. Do you remember there was a step where we had the two vertical folds like that? And we folded it along this one, right? And so what got left behind was this. So this piece right here is this. Could you tell me how long that is? Bless you. Look back up here. What? If these are all equal thirds, right, how long must this be? Well, five. It's got to be five root two. Each of these, right? Is everybody with me? Watch, watch what I'm talking about. This is the hypotenuse, which you already told me was the whole thing is 15 root two. This is a third. This is a third. This is a third. So wouldn't it be a third of 15 root two? Right, which is five root two. So that means this piece in this diagram right here is five root two. 
You now have enough to find all of the other pieces. Right? Because aren't these all 45, 45, 90 triangles all the way through? You see? Right? So you know B right now. What's the value of B? 5 root 2, right? And then you can go ahead and calculate A. And then don't you see how B connects to this one? Right? So now that you know what that is, you can go ahead and find C and D and so on. Okay? So I think that's it for this video. I'm going to stop it here.